Ooh. Oh look, they're even going for the notch in the uh, packaging. <laughs> they know what they're doing. We look good? Cool. We are in Paddington in London. Um, so I've just unboxed this little beauty this morning. Uh, this is the launch day of the iPhone X as a Roman numeral for all you people thinking it's an X, just like OS X. So in this video, I'm just gonna get some shots with just the camera on this. Um, so I'm not gonna be going over the other features of the iPhone, I just wanna be checking out the camera. So here we go, first shot. Um, Let's uh, carry on to a different area. It's very echoey in here, by the way. Um, explore the surrounding Paddington. So I've actually upgraded from the iPhone 6. Uh, I bought that on launch day as well, which means it's over three years old. And for the last year or so, it's been pretty clunky, pretty slow. Um, so I'm looking forward to getting a up-to-date process on my phone. By the way, check out how nice this area is. So this is a muse, what is it called? High Park Garden Muse. I love little muse terraces. Uh, I think muse, if I'm right, is the term for converted garages and uh, industrial places into nice housing, but they've always got really nice cobbled streets. Just for the record, I am actually vlogging this on the Panasonic Lumix GH5. I've had that for about a week now. Um, I'm really enjoying it. Uh, especially having the stabilization so I can walk around a lot better than what I did with the a7r2 So yeah, as I mentioned, I'm just using the iPhone camera and I know there are plenty of apps You can get that gives you more control, but as this is launch day I want to just really like push it to the test like immediately um, But if you want some follow-up videos on some more things then uh, leave some messages in the comments um, Get some ideas of what we could do for future videos. So yeah, this has the uh, dual lenses um, so two cameras there, we've got a wide lens and a telephoto lens. Um, that was also on the iPhone 7 Plus. I've never actually used that or had access to it, so that is my first time doing it. I'm so used to having like delayed responses with my phone so I don't know it's weird I can like just open it camera out ah, it's I don't really know how to describe it other than that doesn't make me sound like an idiot <laughs> there was a time when the red phone boxes used to be like such a signature look of London now they just look like sorry state Welcome to London. There's a guy blowing leaves. Let's try out the uh, the slow mo. Um, so the iPhone does 1080 in 120 or 240 frames per second now. Um, let's go and see how it does. walking away from me as I'm trying to get a good angle of him. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm sure this video has probably attracted a lot of uh, commenters, people who come here just to hate on the iPhone. Uh, I don't understand that by the way, like just let people use the phones that they want to use. Anyway, so I've been contemplating whether to stick with iOS for a good few years now. Um, so as I mentioned, I've been with iOS since the very start. And in the last few years, I must admit, I've genuinely looked at getting new phones. Um, I've looked at the Nexus, uh, the Pixel really, really caught my attention last year. But there is just one thing that really just kind of like always holds me to iOS and that is the camera. Um, now, I just love the way that the camera is integrated into the apps. Um, whenever I see things like Instagram, like with Instagram stories and other stuff, it just always seems to look so much better on iOS devices than it does with Android ones. And before you go on about how, you know, certain phones have certain DxO marks and 
you know, great quality. I can't help but just look at them and think they are way oversaturated and over sharpened, which is what a lot of consumers are looking for. Uh, but me, with my background with photography, I'm not into that. I don't know. It's um, it's one of those things. But I am deeply invested in iOS. Likewise, so many other people are deeply invested into Google. Um, I have, you know, my full setup is Apple. I am in that ecosystem. Hell, I even worked there for three years, so I know Apple stuff inside out, like the back of my hand, like the back of someone else's hand. Um, I am like well into there. So yeah, that's why I've stuck with the iPhone. Um, we'll see how it goes for the next couple of years, but I've got nothing to complain about it. Likewise, if you've got nothing to complain about your Samsung or whatever, then stick with Samsung. It's your choice. Portrait. Oh yeah, just look up to the to your top left. I'm just using the natural light at the moment. Let's just talk about Apple design for a second. Now recently, Apple's had a few, a few faux pas, let's call them that. Um, now I am like, I am very critical of design. Uh, and I was probably the first and biggest critic of the iPhone notch among my friends. Uh, I just, I don't know, I wasn't happy when I saw that when it was released. And it's kind of been my biggest concern with getting the iPhone 10. But now that I've seen it and held it in my hands and used it for a morning, I hate to be that guy, but I really don't notice it that often. Um, it does sort of just blend in, and I feel like it's one of those things that when you do use it and pick it up, uh, it changes how you look at it. When you see screenshots, of course it sticks out like a sore iPhone notch. Take what you will from that, but you do kind of have to see it. Um, I must admit I don't think it's going to stick around. There's probably going to be uh, a design update in the next year or two where they will have worked out how to do it without the notch, but by having it, it's not the end of the world, um, as I thought it would be. <laughs> anyway, so what's in that notch um, is some sensors for your face ID. Um, so rather than just comparing picture for picture if you're using uh, unlocking via face, it uses 3D scanning to pinpoint the um, physics of your face, which of course means that when you use it in the front-facing camera, you can access some extra features, um, which I will test out now. So if we're going to portrait mode, there we go. Um, you should be able to tap onto a face. And, whoa, that's odd. We've got some weird blown out highlights. Let's get a decent background. And we can see how it's tracking my hairline. Mm. It's not the best, is it? I mean, it doesn't like my ear. My ear's like fully out of focus. So this is what happens when you use just one camera and using software to do the, um, the depth effect uh, rather than using two lenses on the back. This is the worst place to test this. <laughs> yeah, that, um, that face ID in the portrait is not really working. That could just be that it's not a very good outdoor use case for it. Um, so maybe I'll try it indoors uh, a bit later on. So just walking back in towards Paddington Station. Uh, I'm looking for a shot. I want to find like a good shot, like a, a nice building shot of maybe some of the trees with the leaves changing colour. So he's going to try and find like a good shot and then uh, I think I might edit that and post it on Instagram. It's putting a lot of pressure on myself because um, I also want to edit and publish this in one day. So my phone didn't even have live photo before so I'm just seeing icons and I'm like, hmm, what's that? Lighting. <laughs> Chase the golden light. Alright, so we've sort of come full circle and we're back to where we started off, but seeing it from the other direction looks really nice. Okay, I think I got couple of shots. Uh, we've now got an event in Chancery Lane, so we're going to go and head to that. I'm going to edit photos on my phone, uh, and then I'm going to edit this video not on my phone. Uh, just for anyone who's wondering, I'm going to edit in Premiere Pro. So I'm just going to end this video here. I hope you've enjoyed this. I've really enjoyed playing around with the iPhone 10. It's the first day it's come out, um, and I'm going to be, of course, testing this a lot more and probably producing some more videos. So if you are new to this channel, then make sure you do subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one. Also, go and check out my Instagram, I'll be posting the photos there. Alright, see you later, thanks for stopping by, bye bye.